those are nice. Hey guys, Lacey here. So I've taken a few steps back in areas of my life and a lot of areas of my life. I'm almost 38 weeks, just a few days shy. And I thought, you know what? I need to get these potatoes out of the ground. Time to harvest them. And thought I would just take you guys along with us and see what we got this year. <laughs> we'll see. It's quite warm. I definitely did not wait for it to cool down. So um, I got water and gloves and bucket. Maybe just get the wheelbarrow. I don't know. We'll see how much we got. garden it looks quite <laughs> neglected I only get to come out of maybe <laughs> two right hand gloves that's okay I don't care it'll be fine <laughs> we'll make it work uh, I only get to come out here maybe every other day maybe every two days <laughs> I don't know it's hit or miss but uh, we're gonna get out here today to try to get some things done got some water my potato row looks pretty overgrown right now. I'm kind of ashamed of it. You can cringe if you want to, I kind of do. <laughs> but over here, of course, weeds, cabbages in between is my potatoes. All I did was basically make a small trench, laid my potatoes in there, um, and then covered it up with hay. That's all I did. I have not done anything else other than that because that's all I could muster up. Anyway, so we're gonna just lift up the hay and see what we got. Not a lot of potato bugs, I wouldn't say, but a lot of squash bugs, so. Let's see what we got. Hey, hey, hi, hi, hey. See a potato, gross. That one's really gross. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Ew. Awesome. that bucket and put this one. This was the seed potato that it grew from. Pretty gross. Um, but I don't actually have to dig for the potatoes this year. That's nice. I didn't really have to dig. But oh, there's another one. Ta-da. Cool. Didn't actually have to dig, so that's really nice. One of my biggest pet peeves was having to dig for pota potatoes and always trying to get, trying to not hit the uh, potatoes. Yeah. Little tiny nuggets. There. I don't think there was much to that one at all. Red potato, potato patata. Did I plant red and yellow potatoes? I don't know. I can't remember. Awesome. Some nuggets in there. all right I think for me potatoes are always just an experiment hit or miss every year <laughs> but I don't want to stop growing them I want to keep on trying my best so that's from four plants only and honestly I'm not that disappointed it's something <laughs> better than nothing right Now that's interesting. I'm also out here trying to have a baby doing this kind of stuff. Yes. Two more. Okay. Those are nice. <laughs> There's my sea potato. Got one, two. Hey. Hey. How's it 
going? Um, do you want some milk? Probably. Are you there, Bob? What do we got? What is this? Potatoes? They're potatoes! Can I sit right here? Yeah. Because there's no potatoes right here? About the best one yet, I think. Yeah. Are those potatoes? Yeah. Pretty clean potatoes. So I'm a few days shy of being 38 weeks along and I think this counts as trying to do anything to have this baby. <laughs> um, one five gallon bucket full of potatoes this year for our harvest and I don't think it's that bad of a harvest this year. Honestly, I've done it three ways, the buckets, the in ground, and then just basically putting hay on top and I think I'll do this next year because it's the best harvest I've ever had in my whole entire history of ever growing potatoes. <laughs> um, but anyway, now that this task is done, I'm going to call it a day in the garden. I might actually pick some cherry tomatoes out of the jungle and uh, go jump in the pool, cool off, call it a day, and we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Bye.